Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now I am doing something brand new and doing what I would just label as a cutesy layout because I am paper piecing a cut file from the Select Design Studio of this cute bunny um, that's holding a bunch of hearts and I cut it out of like this bubblegum pink cardstock first and then I did the insides of on white you know, that are his little belly and his nose, and then all his eyes and eyelashes are on black cardstock. So you had to send it through the silhouette cameo a few times, and then I take the time to layer all of these pieces together. But first, I do the inside of the bunny ears with this um, scrap of paper. I think this is an old Dear Lizzie card or scrap that I have left, so I, you know, cut out the inside so it's all hearts because clearly I'm going to be scrapbooking a picture of Valentina from Valentine's Day and you just have to get a cute bunny. Now I will say once again I've been binge watching um, Lisa Fonseca I want to say her name is. She's on the Hip Kit Club and Pink Paisley and she does these really cute paper piecing um, animals and like little characters if you've ever seen her Instagram feed. <clears throat> I'll hopefully remember to link everything down below. And so this is kind of like my ode to her without really, because all of hers are handmade. But I like the idea of these like fun characters on the layout. And since I have a baby girl, I felt the need that I should start incorporating a few of these um, uh, little characters slash animals slash um, little critters um, to my layouts. But first I also wanted to have a design element in the back. So this is a cut file. I want to say actually this one's from Paper Issues. And I used an old Pink, uh, Pink Paisley um, Paige Evans uh, paper. I believe this one's from the Fancy Free Collection. I literally have all Paige Evans uh, collection paper pads. Uh, she can do no wrong in my eyes, just like Maggie Holmes. And so I like the idea that the whole thing was like paint strokes, and so it gave me the variations of pinks um, for the hearts. And I do apologize for the lighting. Um, I do I have a window in front of my desk, and sometimes when the um, in the early morning slash afternoon when I was doing this on the weekend, it just comes very harsh through my mini blinds and then my tripod and everything else. I've explained my lighting situation before. I might have to get away from being in front of the window because it it gives me harsh shadows like it does here. Anyways, back to the paper piecing. So here I am cutting, kind of gluing on all the layers so that it has like dimension and some weight to it. Um, his nose, um, the red heart, I made from a little like uh, punch. And then I cut all of these little hearts. There is a file, you know, for the hearts, but I used like literally this little like quarter inch um, heart punch that I have. And I used a bunch of scrap paste of paper um, in pink, red, and like a coral and salmon-y colors. And I just go to town doing them. Like I have enough here, but I think I still had to cut a few more out. And then this is when I start stash diving into my collection because <clears throat> I realize that I am like, A, okay, I have wood veneer from Spiegel Mom Scraps in heart shapes that I do, like I place looking like wood veneer at first. But then I do it off camera where I paint them white with acrylic paint and splash them with some glitzy um, glitter or yeah glitter on top. And so you'll see that process too. I also lost one of the eyelashes so I kind of fussy cut it out myself. And you know how it always happens. I had one eyelash and I lost it. And then sure enough after I'm all said and done I find that silly eyelash on the floor. Ugh, it always happens. <laughs> um, I back the eyeballs, the eyeballs or whatever, with white cardstock so that the the pupil slash the white part that catches the light is white instead of being on pink. And go ahead and get the little eyelashes down. Like this little bunny, like shut up guys, look how cute it is. And so I zoom in a little bit just so you can see the work that it is. So these are the Spiegel Mom scrap ones. So this is the one. So you see them as just wood veneer. I do paint them and add glitzy <clears throat> uh, glitter to them. Um, and it comes out really cute, but this is where I also stash dive. So here is from, uh, Sparkle and Sprinkle. I got them at Scrapbook Expo a long time ago. This is brush glue. So I take the time and I use brush glue, um, on his nose and on the white part. And then I use glitter from, um, Sparkle and Sprinkle <clears throat> and it's called Bridal Dress. Um, and it's just like a thick white glitter. I tried to show some of it right there. It didn't really catch the light. And then I do it on his little tummy area too. So it adds interest to um, 
the, this, these areas so it, like his whole belly is all glittered up and his nose and white and then I also add the brush glitter to the hearts well every other heart and I put the pink glitter on there and it turns out to be beautiful you guys like like I said this is when I said my um this is the year to stash dive <laughs> And like I, I haven't used this brush glue. I also have the dimensional glue. I honestly probably don't think I've even used it. Like you're supposed to use it. Like I brought it such a long time ago. And so here's the pink glitter on some of the hearts, and then I like it some more. That I go back and add more. Uh -huh. Cute, cute. Like I'm sure you don't need brush glue that I got from this. It probably cost me like eight dollars for this jar. I'm sure I could just brush a thin layer of Scotch tacky glue, and it would have worked out just fine. But just keep it in mind for any future layouts. Like, it is adorbs. Like, I can't stand it. And then I was like, let's add some more to his nose. Boom. Glitter on the nose. Oh, my God. Like, guys, I'm going to turn into, like, this cutesy little scrapbooker just so I can, like, document all my baby pictures. And so there you are seeing all that I mentioned there. And, like, the dimensional wood veneer from Spiegel Mom. But to me, they almost look like little frosted donuts. Like, pink frosted donuts. So cute. So then my title is going to be Love, and this was a cut file once again from the Cut Studio uh, Silhouette Design Store. And I take the time off camera because see how the light is right now? Like, shut up. Like, I couldn't even take it. So the love, I leave it alone, and that's where it's placed. But the heart for the O, I do outline in red sequence. And then I take this whole sheet of clear stickers that have little animals on them. Um, this is from the Dollar Tree legit the cutest stickers and I thought I was going to use them in my memory planner but I started peeking them all behind all of these hearts I used the entire sheet I think there's one like elephant left in the sheet like the whole sheet gets used so this is where I say like this is like so not me I'm usually not into like the little cutesy elements on my scrapbook layouts I'm heavy always into florals and embellishments and tags and quotes um, but this one I took it to that cutesy level and I call it cutesy not to be mean about it it's just it's not my style it's not my comfort zone I've never done paper piecing an animal you can see my whole feed it's not my usual go-to but I'm not gonna lie I kind of love doing this layout <laughs> so off camera um you'll see me you'll not see me add the red glitter to the love title and I do um, use the corner rounder once again for the corners and I wipe my pit my I map my picture on white cardstock um, So that's the only parts that you don't see because like I'm looking at my camera like right now And I'm like, Ugh, I'm like those lines are so harsh for my mini blinds and I have them covered with the curtains But that's how stark this like section I could not get it was driving me bonkers um, So like I said, I kind of like glue this down and then I just turned it off because I was like this looks terrible <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not gonna like stop filming so um you're just watching me do this so I can just explain uh the end result and is there anything else and I don't even think I wanted to add like um black splatters and everything else but I really don't even do that like how you see they laid all the animals are peeking through from some of the corners and I stink and love the way that looked and again I thought about maybe adding mixed media doing some color washes on it and I was just like you know Ty just leave it Right now, the way it is, it's fine. I was wiping away some of the glue. And so, yeah, like I really love this way, the way that it turned out now. And like I said, sometimes we, I had a little bit of an issue of it not the bunny not sitting anywhere, but it turned out great. Like I love all the close-ups. So I hope you give this a try. Leave me any comments or if you want any details on it. And thank you for joining me. Bye.